Hey everybody, it's Ardina again from Gengi's Journey. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I wanted to share my process for making um, tags. They're basically tags or journaling cards um, that I've created out of book pages. If you've been following me on Instagram, you might have seen um, some of these. This one I created for the past couple of days. I've actually been on a roll <laughs> um, creating tags because I usually don't mask me mask <laughs> I usually don't mask me I still said it I usually don't mask make anything um, usually just clusters and I I just know that the process of creating journals would go by so much smoother if I would have certain things ready and I've just been in this creative bubble and um, it's been with using my old book pages and things um, to create some tags and so this one I shared on Instagram so you guys might have seen it there and then these were the last ones that I haven't shared just yet, but probably by the time this video is up, um, I would have already posted it. So these were the last ones that I created, just folding up a book page. And so I mentioned over on Instagram that I wanted to share my own process of creating um, these tags. So that's what I'd like to do today. So these are some of the latest ones. So some of them I added ruffles, some of them I added these metal book plates and um, the ones that are more simple and lay flat are ones that I plan on maybe using as tuck spots. Like I might use this on a corner page um, or something. So this one here is a beautiful digital actually from Raindrop Lila and this is from her Yesterday's Vintage. So this is the, uh, one of the background images. She also has a separate one with the ephemera and so this will come in a separate image. But the set that I used was from the background papers. And um, so yeah, this this comes with it. And so I still use my gardening pages and some um, textured paper or handmade paper from Rose Hill Paper Cottage and I added a ruffle. So I've been wanting to I actually bought this um, digital kit from her a few weeks back and I haven't had a chance to use them yet and so I wanted to use it and I just really, I love the image and I really love this tag. Um, these labels, um, they're also in a separate kit but from the same, um, from the same theme. So this is yesterday's vintage uh, journaling labels. So there's a few and they look like this. So I've, you know, I've cut some out already, so it's broken this. So it, this one kind of just tells a story. It's more like of life and um, so, you know, there's lessons learned, heartache, an extraordinary story. Just, it's a really, really lovely kit. Um, I'll leave the link below, of course, so you guys can check it out. But that's what I used for um, some of the um, book plates. So, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll go over what I've used um, on some of these and then um, for the creative process uh, since I do take a lot of time thinking about how I'm gonna collage it what I'll do is I'll set that to music once I start crafting so I'll just explain what I've used and what you'll need to create them um, I've used some digitals as I've mentioned I've used handmade paper I have a stack over here <clears throat> from Rose Hill Paper Cottage in different colors if you don't have handmade paper um, or an embossing machine well if you have an embossing machine you can emboss um, your own papers of course um, if you don't have an embossing machine, you can use any other kind of decorative paper element that you'd like to use um, that maybe has some texture. Um, so there's, there's different ways to go about it. Um, what else? I've used... Originally when I started these tags, it was because I wanted to use up these smaller images, these smaller uh, floral images that are so gorgeous. So if you've seen my journals before, you know that I use a lot of um, gardening book pages in the front. So I purchased this book. <laughs> Excuse the cover because I was using it as a, you know, to protect my table. So I destroyed the cover, sadly, with paint. But this is uh, the book that I've gathered those images from. So it's Better Home and Gardens. And this is from the Rose Gardening. I got this on thriftbooks.com. If you're interested, I'll also link it below. So I purchased it because, like I said, I use a lot. Let me move my coffee over before I knock it over. <laughs> so if you've checked out any of my um, the journals, you know that I use, I like to use these full pages of, you know, gardening images. So I purchased this book with hopes that there will be many of them. Um, but this book has a few larger images, but not many. They're mostly like halfway. And then towards the back, there's a ton of these like, smaller images and I know that you could put them in a junk in a junk <laughs> in a junk journal um 
as is, but um, I prefer to have a fuller image. So these are so gorgeous. Um, I love roses. I love these colors. And so I decided, no, I'm going to use them. I'm definitely going to use them. A lot of the journals I've been making lately have a lot of um, florals and, and roses and things. And so I definitely wanted to use them. So um, I ripped this one out because I'm in love with these roses right here. So I'm going to be creating a tag out of that. But just like gorgeous, really gorgeous um, images. So I basically just tear the page out from the book. And when I tear them out, so then this side here that has like the larger rip, I use that. So I'll leave that side on. So I've left um, basically that rip on one of the ends, right? So then I just tear them out with a ruler. Um, I'll do that in the process, you know, once I'm done speaking. <laughs> so yeah, I rip out all the corners, just leaving the tour part out. And then if there's like little shreds or whatever, I just, you know, rip it out so that it could look a little neater. And basically that's how I just like the look that it gives in the bottom. It's a little bit, you know, kind of, you know, that torn look imperfect and I still like it. So that's how I get these images. They're beautiful. There's so many of them and some of them, some of them have additional floors in the back so you can pick and choose. So this is a good project if you have um, any magazines or books that may have smaller images like this and you want to use them up. So it's good for that. So I use book pages. I have a huge stack of old book pages that I've, <laughs> I would say I've been hoarding, but honestly I didn't. I know there's tons of different things that you could do with book pages. That is why I purchased these long ago. But I ran out of, I guess, creative juice <laughs> to use them at some point. They were just sitting there. And then I forgot that I had them. So I wanted to use some more of my book pages up. So that's how that came about. So instead of just ripping out, you know, pieces of the book page and gluing it onto a manila card, which you can do that too. Um, what I've done for these is I've pretty much, um, I've pretty much just folded them over and glue them and actually once everything is collaged on top it's as if i used a cardstock and then i like i like the effect that it gives it in the back where you can see the book page and you could even leave some of the book page showing in the front i just since i use so many elements i ended up not showing some of the book page in the front so that's okay too it depends on the look you're trying to achieve so yes you will need book pages i have a lot of vintage ones that's um the look that i prefer but some of these are not that old looking and so then you can use some distress ink if you want to age it more so yes the gardening pages book pages some kind of textured paper or other decorative elements you could also use um, bits of fabric to create that texture and to add color and if you don't have you would see on some of these like the other yellow one that I had other things that I used was ledger papers ledger papers and I've also used some wallpaper um, to decorate some of them, not all of them, but this particular one, yes, I added some vintage wallpaper and also some vintage ledger because I like the script writing. So, um, if you want some of that script writing, but you don't have any ledgers, these are some of the ledgers that I've used. So these are like bits and pieces of ledgers. This was a pack that I purchased off of Etsy also a long time ago, and there were so many and I never really used them up. Um, I like these vintage ledgers because of the script writing and um, so that's what I that's what I use I also use the yellow one I use that yellow one here and here and just a collage you could also get them from these um, vintage French ledger pages a lot of those I get from like this one particularly I get from crafty paper bits and I just love all of that um, all of that script writing this is another old vintage one that I had from, um, this was from my Amity Bloom paper pack. And I've actually been hoarding this one because I like the texture of this paper and the color. But I've decided for this project, I'm just going to use up all of those things that have been sitting there collecting dust. Um, I've also used bits and pieces of vintage wallpaper or antique wallpaper in some cases that I've also been hanging on to for dear life. So some of these, um, like this one came from Ruby and Pearl. Um, this other bit came from Sarah from Crafty Paper Bits, and then these came from my Amity Bloom paper pack a while ago. So those are things that I'm going to be using. Um, so yeah, I also have 
a lot of these antique um, newspaper pages from Spain. So um, I do plan on using a couple of these. And when you have these longer ones, you can cut them in half and then create two tags out of it. You can even do four depending on the size. And then these French dictionary papers as well, I also used um, some of these to create them. This one I got from Dusty Rose's Papery on her Instagram shop. So, okay, so what did I say? <laughs> Book pages, gardening images, um, or some other magazine image, some textured paper, embossed paper, or some other decorative elements, some ledger. And then the metal piece that I've added on some of them are these book plates. I typically use these book plates on my journals. I have a few here because um, if you remember my other, um, my um, grandma's garden journal and then I had a book plate and lately I've been using the book plates. So I was, I ran out of those Tim Holtz book plates and I went on Amazon searching and I was unable to find the right size. These are huge. So I'm not sure that I'm even going to be, well, I'm definitely not going to use them in this project, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use them at all. I'm not sure. And then I just had a couple of decorative ones that I, that I just fell in love with. So these are from Amazon. All of these actually are from Amazon. So you can use for the tags. These little ones are good to use. <clears throat> I know Sarah from Crafty Paper Bits, she tends to use these a lot too on her, in her artwork. Um, and then these that I found on Amazon, I think are just so pretty. So I've been using these, um, you know, it came with quite a few, the bags. So I don't mind using some on these tags. So um, if you don't have any metal book plate, I mean, you can, um, I mean, you could always create a book plate out of some cardstock. Um, they also have digitals that have book plates. So, but some of these I didn't use book plates. Like this one, I didn't use a book plate. I just ruffled it. Um, and some others that I've created. So, those are optional. <laughs> I just like the effect um, that it gives. Um, so, Cassie from Dusty Roses, she has this new digital kit. Um, these are antique, uh, antique neutrals. I believe so this is her latest kit I didn't print everything out but I did print it because if you don't if you wanted to let's say do these tags and you don't have um, maybe the book pages or any vintage ledger or anything like that or even vintage wallpaper this kit has everything <laughs> um, basically you can use a lot of what it has um, she has a start to finish um, a journal making process on her YouTube that I will link below and basically everything that this kit has she's used the originals in the journal that she's creating which by the way is coming out stunning so um, I'll link that down below but so this basically this is the kit that she's been using and I thought it was perfect because it has the script so let's say you don't have the book pages and you don't have the ledger um, this kit has it if you're interested so I'm gonna link that down below this these are available in her Etsy shop so see it has a ledger with the script and then she even has full book pages. So one of the tags that I'll do, I'll be using this. And then I'll also use um, my own book pages just to give you an idea that you can do it if you don't have the items. Um, and then these are just some additional vintage items that I, I want to include. And then she has a vintage wallpaper printable there as well, all in the same kit. I'm in love with this image. So that's another book page. And I totally love this one, but I think I would use this as a whole page in a journal. I just printed it out to kind of give you guys an idea of what comes in the kit, but it's so pretty. So, also, um, if you guys are interested to purchase this from um, Cassie's shop, you can use um, the code Gingy's Journey 10, and I'll leave that below as well. And if you put that in the checkout, you'll get 10% off of any of her digitals. So. That's, you know, I'm glad to be able to offer that to you guys. So for the remainder of this video, I think I'm just going to set you guys to music while I create. So I just wanted to explain basically um, what you needed. And to create the tag, um, I basically fold over, which um, hopefully you can see it well. But I fold it over the way that you would fold up a letter to put in an envelope. So I fold it like this, I press it down and I glue it, which you'll see in the process. Um, so yeah, I hope that I, I hope that I explained that. Well, I'm not really good with um, explaining certain things or the process. I'm still fairly new to that. So I hope it was somewhat, you know, I hope you can understand it. <laughs> um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, please feel free to leave your comments below. So. 
I'm going to get started. Mm -hmm. 